Okay, so my house has this tiled panel on the front and on the back. So I wanted to take those down and insulate them. So you can see it's about nine centimeters to the felt. And then behind the felt, there's a further seven centimeters of cavity. And then after that, it's just fiberboard and plasterboard. And that's then you're into the house. There's really no insulation in there at all. Taking the tiles, that's fairly straightforward. They just come right off. Just uh, I used one of these and then I used a little hammer. Occasionally you have to break a tile to get it out, but they're, they're pretty straightforward to, to do. Then you take off the lats. They just um, pull off. Obviously be careful of the nails. Then I just ripped the felt off. So that was that was fairly, fairly easy to do. And you can see that the that's about seven centimeters in there. The, uh, the wood is about seven centimeters deep. So you just take the felt off. They're 16 inches from center to center, about 40 centimeters from center to center. And uh, yeah, it's kind of straightforward. Those are the floorboards from the bedroom that you can see sticking out there. And that's in that gap, that's the cavity between the floorboards and the downstairs ceiling. So there's just no insulation. And uh, I decided to put some brackets in because I thought I better, you know, it just seemed to make sense to me to strengthen the frame while I was there. So I did. Then I decided to pad it out with these, with wood to get more insulation in. So I, I made, cut some wood, just put it in. This is the insulation that I went for, which is PIR foam or PIR insulation, like Kingspan or Celotex. And uh, it's 120 millimeters thick. So I put that in and uh, then you just, um, I use the expanding foam and aluminium tape. The expanding foam, you can just get that from Screwfix. It's quite easy to use once you get the hang of it. So I found out later, and this is something I would change if I was doing the job again, that um, that's wood now all the way through to the center of the house, really, well, to the, to the wall. And wood isn't a very great insulator. And you can get brackets, and I, that would have been fine. And then you could insulate, uh, insulate that area. So um, instead of instead of that, I've got these joists which uh, could potentially um, have been insulated better. But I didn't think of it till later. And we're only talking about a small gain, I think. So um, fine, it's fine. For, it'll do for me. It's certainly going to be a lot better than it was. Then I just put felt over the top. So a couple of rolls of felt and battened it down. So you can see that just battened down. I had to put these little noggins on just to help the edge pieces for the cladding, the shiplap cladding go in. And then you just put the edge pieces on, just nail in. And um, it's a bit fiddly. I found that a nail punch was really handy just to get the little ring nails in. So I'd recommend that. And then the cladding goes on top and it goes on like that. It's about two centimeters deep. So that's the sort of thickness of it. And then, yeah, you just stack it up on top of itself like that. And it goes fairly straightforward. Getting these joins in, you have to do that as you go. You can't put them on as an afterthought. And you just build up the cladding as you go. And that's it, you've, you're good. You've got the, the cladding done. So the front of the house is the same. Though I did find that this area was deeper. It was about 15 centimeters deep. So that was interesting, but it wasn't a problem because you can just cut the foam to fill in all the little gaps, all the little unusual gaps, and then you've got it insulated and you just put the cladding over the top. So really, really straightforward job, a bit time consuming. The cost in the materials cost about 700, 800 pound for all the materials. And, um, you know, just take, take as long as it takes. It took me a couple of days, but if you're doing it a lot, I think you could do it a lot quicker, but um, that should give you an idea. Okay, thanks very much.